I ended up not hearing about building services or even mechanical engineering being used in construction until my last year of uni and the variety of projects, travel opportunities and also the sustainable design aspects of the job really started to speak to me. Like me, lots of people come to building services and engineering from different paths. Uh, but what really matters is the passion put into learning. So I guess the message here is that where's the will, there's a way. So taking unusual routes to your professions uh, is not necessarily something bad. It might turn up into an opportunity. I ended up being the architect who speaks the engineering language, but yet the engineer who speaks the architectural language too. I will admit at 16, I never thought about how I could turn my maths and problem solving into a career and really how engineering was a path for me and now I can honestly say it's something I really enjoy doing. One of the things that I like the most about my job is definitely the variety of tasks and there is no way of getting bored. People may think about the typical day of an engineer as doing calculations almost uh, isolated from the rest of the world, but in reality there's a lot more going on. And as a mechanical engineer, I make sure that people can enjoy living in the buildings in a safe and comfortable way. I also really like the part that I can play breathing new life into old buildings, some of which haven't been open to the public or have just been left to kind of fall apart, knowing that you had an impact on kind of bringing a building back to life. And I've had a chance to travel to some fantastic places from remote scenic areas in Scotland to across the UK and even abroad to places like Malaysia and Dubai. As a building services engineer, we work towards having a better environment around us, but we do touch base on the people aspect of it. You can make a direct change in their day-to-day -day life by, by the way you design the environment around them. The thing I like about building services is the fact it constantly evolves. Um, not only this, but I can honestly say that I keep learning every day on this job and I learn something new on every project that I work on. And every day brings up new challenges, new problems. Not only that, but then every single specific project does, does have its own conditions for us to work towards. So this is something that is keeping me going in this field because things are always changing in the field itself. Definitely learn something every day. There's so much shift and um, I don't think we'll, we'll ever stop learning as engineers. Sustainability in its all aspect, being social or, or economic or even environmental, do stand at the core of building services engineering profession, especially working all together collaboratively to reach the same. When I do my design, I get to select energy efficient equipment and do my best to reduce energy usage and energy consumption in building and really contribute to sustainability in that way. Like here yeah, in Africa. Solar systems are something that is very beneficial to a sustainable future because we have a lot of sunlight hours. So introducing systems such as these can help us come up with a sustainable future. We are already witnessing different patterns in solar intensity and rainfalls. I've been in London for six years and I can already notice the difference. So for this reason, I think that rainfall and sunlight management are going to change. For example, more external shading, smaller windows, rethinking of the management of water. Currently designing a net zero carbon prison for the Ministry of Justice, um, which is a really fascinating project. Um, so looking at timber-based structural systems um, to reduce embodied carbon, uh, heat pump-based heating systems um, with huge amounts of uh, renewable technologies as well to, to offset our, our operational energy. Probably the highlight project for me over the last five years has been a water park that I worked on in Qatar. Probably the most fun you can have as a building services engineer is designing a water park, particularly this one, which had some really innovative rides in it and the sub-consultants we were working with were excellent as well, and the client. Uh, the GC of the solar lighting system. Uh, so currently I'm working on developing the system and commercializing it so that more, pe more people benefit from it and making sure that uh, residents and also students have access to reliable and high quality lighting as well. I have been lucky enough to work on a number of projects from improving existing systems 
to refurbishing buildings to complete new builds. Sarek building services are going to become the most important part of the whole concept of the building. And everybody will consider them as a priority when buying a house. So we're not going to run out of work and come and join us. Because this is a profession where you can make direct influence on people's life that is enjoyable and that, that makes you uh, progress in your career to have a larger impact and influence on what's happening around you. So I'm very glad that I entered a career in building services and yes, I would definitely recommend it to anyone who's looking for that sort of challenge.